At a bakery, all donuts are priced equally, and all bagels are priced equally. What is the total price of five donuts and three bagels at the bakery? So I'm going to use D as the price of a donut, and B is the price of the bagel. So five donuts plus three bagels, that's exactly what the prompt is looking for. So statement number one tells us that the price of 10 donuts plus six bagels equals 1290. Well, normally this would be two equations with two unknowns, and we really need the solution. We need to find D and B. And so normally you would need another equation to solve. However, there's a, a very curious coincidence here. Notice that 10 is 2 times 5, and 6 is 2 times 3. In other words, if we just take this entire equation and divide it by 2, what we get is 5D plus 3B equals 645, that's $6.45, and that is the price that answers the prompt. That's the price of five donuts and three bagels. So statement number one by itself is sufficient. Now statement number two tells us the price of a donut is 15 less than the price of a bagel. So price of a donut is price of a bagel minus 0.15. Well, this is just a single equation, so by itself, this does not allow us to solve for the value of 5D plus 3B. So this by itself is insufficient. If all this algebra is making your head spin, I'd highly recommend checking out Magoosh. At Magoosh, we have over 200 lesson videos to help you with all the skills and all the strategies you need to be successful on the GMAT. We also have 800 practice questions, each one with an explanatory video, much like this one. And so it's a great way to prepare for the GMAT. And it's much more affordable than any of the other courses, Manhattan or any of the others. So check out Magoosh sometime. Meanwhile, we have statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. That means the answer is A.